we have over 100,000 hours of magnetic media. That is audio and videotape in our archival collection. Every picture, every story, every song, every sound enriches us. It's significant in terms of our identity and maintaining our cultures, our pride and our self-esteem. gives you an idea how land used to be. You know, when you look at pictures, it brings back memory. And... This photo like this, mm -hmm. if, 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 if I'm going to show you one of my uncle, this photo, I, I, believe it or not, bet you any money, I'll cry. We had what we called a black caucus in those days and because we didn't agree with it we decided some political action. The black caucus met up in Burton Street, East Sydney at Lynn Thompson's place. I moved that we take over Pinchgut Island in the centre of the harbour in Sydney. I got outvoted by one vote but because it went the other way we decided to put the ten embers out. On the 26th of January, Kandra woke up to four young Aboriginals under a big beach umbrella, and that became the Tent Embassy. Keppel Enderby was the member. When I arrived on the Friday, I was a wharfie at the time, I said to Kep Enderby, what, what's going on? Why haven't they busted them? He said, they, you found a gap in their law. They can't move you without legislation. So we put up eight tents in. By 2025, no amount of money will be able to help us preserve this precious and irreplaceable material. <laughs>